Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I recently had someone ask me if I was gonna cover the fact that Fair Abram, Abraham, not Abram, Fair Abraham was recently on Millionaire Matchmaker. Now, I don't watch that show, so I had no idea, but after that comment was left, I started looking into it because I was like, hmm, I hadn't heard anything about that. I went and watched the episode, and something that I realized uh, not too far into the episode is that it had to be an older episode. Um, for some reason on the YouTube channel for that network, they are kind of promoting this as if it's a new episode because they literally just put it up like two days at the time that that person commented that to me and told me I needed to look into it. The That episode had been up for two days. So it definitely comes off looking like it's a new episode, right? I watched it and when she said Farrah's age and Farrah's daughter's age, I knew immediately this has to be an older episode. So it is, you guys. It is a good episode. I found it entertaining. So when Patty sat down with Farrah, one of the things that she realized was that Farrah has a hard time coming, um, dealing with the fact that she has been in the adult entertainment industry. To show Farrah an example of this, she set Farrah up with a date, like right outside the hotel, just a gentleman at the bar, and they were having a good time, good talk, and the guy was approached by a server and given an envelope. And the guy said, in this envelope is something about Farrah. You cannot share this with her, but it's a piece of important information that I think you need to know, that Patty thinks you need to know. Well, immediately Farrah goes from like smiling happy to where she's kind of like, you could just tell she was not well. She asked the guy, so what was in the envelope? And the guy was like, well, I can't tell. It's for my eyes only. And she got really defensive and she basically like wasn't happy anymore. She was not into the date anymore. And when Patty sent someone down, to say that the day was over, Fair was more than happy to jump up and leave. So uh, Patty brings Fair in and tells Fair, look, this is the problem. You are letting the fact that you were a part of the adult entertainment industry cloud your dates. Like when you go out with me and all you're thinking about is do they know this about me? What do they think about me? Um, you need to stop that. Realize who you are, stand in it, and let go of that part of your life and stop doing that type of thing. Patty does call Fair out. And, you know, I think there's two sides of this. Patty tells Fair, like, you have a child. You don't need to be in this type of business. You are too pretty and too smart for this type of business. You have enough money. You've made that money. You have other business opportunities to continue making money. You need to stop with the adult entertainment industry situation because you are embarrassed of it. If you weren't, you would not get so hostile when you think it's being brought up or when you think the guy that you're on a date with may have just been told about it. So that's something you need to let go of. And Farrah was like, you're right. I'm going to try not to focus on that. So Farrah was sent on two dates, which seemed to go very well. Um, Patty picked two guys for Fair, and she ended up picking one of the guys. Now we know today because it was an older episode that Farrah and that guy did not last. I don't know if they even went on any date after that. I'm not sure. Not seen an update. But what I can tell you guys is that episode was filmed July 22nd, 2016. What? What? Four years. That episode is four years old. Another way that I knew that episode was that old is Farrah's face has changed drastically since then. Not to pick on her, but she's had a few things done, if you know what I'm saying. Like, good bit. She looks a little bit different, you know. So, I was like, this looks like, you know, Farrah, maybe three surgeries ago. I don't know. And then when she said the ages, I was like, okay, this has got to be an old episode. It was July 22nd, 2016. It's in when the episode was originally taped or when it was aired. This was season one, episode three of the Millionaire Matchmaker. So it was pretty early on, you guys. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and cover it because when I watched it, I was like, how do we not know that Farrah was on Million Dollar Matchmaker? That is a tongue twister, Million Dollar Matchmaker. I don't know, I can't seem to say it when I'm like, I don't know, anyways. How do we not know that? I haven't seen Farrah promoting it on anything. So I was a little dumbfounded when someone asked me like if I was gonna cover it. I was like, well, let me go figure out what's going on. I went to YouTube and typed it in and the network that it plays on actually popped up with it and it showed that it was only two days old so i was like wow wow she was just on million, million dollar matchmaker no she wasn't 
it's old. She's not with the guy anymore, clearly. I don't know what happened after that. I do feel like Patty gave her a good bit of advice. Like, even if Farrah continues to be in that type of business, the adult entertainment industry, personally, I wouldn't do it. But if that's what she's going to do, she has to own it. She has to say, this is what I do. I'm not going to be embarrassed about it. If I'm on a date with a guy and he says, so, you know, you do this, I can't get mad at him. I have to be like, yeah, that's what I do. I can't refuse to acknowledge the fact that I have done these things. That's kind of what Farrah does. You know, she's like, I wasn't, I wasn't a porn star. I wasn't a porn star. I wasn't in porn. You were. And you got to acknowledge that. When someone asks you, you have to say, yes, I did that. And I made bank off that. And that's what it is. And it was just a business deal for me to help set me and my daughter up because I don't depend on anyone else to do that. That's what I would like to see Farrah done. I thought that uh, Patty gave her great advice in that aspect. Uh, so yeah, that was an old episode, you guys. If you haven't watched it, go to YouTube right now and go watch it. It was a pretty good episode. Leave me your thoughts and comments in the comment section below about Farrah being on the Million Dollar Matchmaker. Give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.